Hi guys, this is Rack and Load. Now, a question that I get asked a lot is 177 sub 12 slugs. Are they any good? So, it's time for a test. I have got some JSB Match Dia Diablo knockout slugs and I have also got some H&N uh, HP slugs. Okay, both 177 shooting them out of this Eurogan 2, this AGT Eurogan 2 sub 12, 30 yards on my backyard range. Let's do an accuracy test. We'll do a velocity and consistency test. See what these things are doing. 631. 619. 73 573 575 575 575 573 so guys we're back in the rat cave just to take a look at the results of what we got with these slugs out of this 177 sub 12 foot pound uh, air rifle this is by the way a Eurogun 2 from AGT here are the targets so we have got the H&N slugs H&N slugs and the JSB knockout slugs. So 16 shot group finger just for scale at 30 yards. Okay, that's a pretty decent group, don't you think? That was the JSB knockouts. Okay, 13.43 grain slugs. And then the H&N slug HP 16 grain. 16 shot groups or well, 16 shot group rather that I think was slim. I don't know I think they're about the same aren't they give or take decent decent groups very interesting um, data from these particular um, these particular slugs you know out of a sub 12 a lot of people say oh you can't run them in sub 12 but 30 yards, these are hitting hard, guys. These are hitting hard at that, that range. The first um, sh the first target that I did, these were running at, well, here is, here is the data. I'm showing you here, but I'll put it on screen. So the high of 589 feet per second, the low of 561. So an average of 574 feet per second spread of 28 feet per second and the standard deviation of six feet per second okay on 16 shot of full magazine sixteen shot again these were slightly uh slightly faster um at running it a high of six hundred and thirty one feet per second a uh, low of 608 feet per second, average of 615 feet per second, spread of 23 feet per second, so a standard deviation of 5 feet per second. So that's, there's not a lot in it, is there? These things run really, really consistent. Very interesting indeed, guys. Very interesting. So I think, to be fair, the argument of 
Can you run slugs in a sub 12 177 PCP air rifle? I think the answer is yes, you certainly can. With decent accuracy at a sensible range of 30 yards, you know. So 40 yards, I think you're still gonna get decent groupage at, you know, uh, and I think they're still gonna hit hard enough, definitely, because they're traveling fast enough. So they're definitely gonna hit hard enough. Do your own experiments, guys. This is my BS3 experiment. You've seen it on camera, you've seen what I did. I'd never lied to you guys. It is worth, worth my soul being burned in hell if I did. So, <laughs> uh, you know me guys, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bullshit you. I'm, I'm telling you how it is. This is what happened with these slugs, okay? with this rifle, and to be fair, the Eurogun 2, if you watch my um, my review of this rifle, uh, I've still got the target here, pretty much groups anything. There are six different types of pellets there, and it grouped them all at 30 yards. Watch the full review of that. But interesting, doing a slug experiment. Now this is only two types of slug, these are the only two types of slug in 177 that uh, I've kind of only been able to get my hands on. So there may be more out there, maybe I need to try some more, but these are the only ones I seem to have here in the rat cave. But that's decent, guys. That is decent. So you don't have to have a high power air rifle to run slugs, okay? You don't need an FAC air rifle to run slugs sub 12ers will produce decent results proof is in the pudding anyway guys i am going to leave it at that thanks for watching that is rack and load see ya